What's up everybody, Jason Page here, and today I'm going to show you how to light paint a ghost. Ooh. So the main tool that I'm going to be using today is the Light Whip from Light Painting Brushes. A couple things about this tool I want to mention. Number one, it's called the Light Whip, but it really should be called the Light Noodle because it is a relatively fragile tool. If you do whip it around like crazy, you can break it or you can get uh, hot spots or things like that where it won't give you the same effect that it does in its original form. If you got the Light Whip, slow steady movements are the way to go with this tool. Quip you saying whip? No, I'm saying don't whip it. The brighter the light source you have with the light whip, the better. Something around a thousand lumens like this here, um, Nightcore SRT6 is a great light to use. It's a thousand lumen light um, and fits the universal connector really well. You can use a lower lumen flashlight if you have something that's maybe two or three hundred lumens or something like that. Um, you can use that with the light whip. But what you're gonna have to do is boost your ISO to really get this to pick up on your sensor. So we're gonna use this to create the, uh, the ghost. The only other tool that I'll be using is the hood and color filter. And all I'm gonna do with this is shine it directly at the camera, turn it on for a second or two, and that's gonna create a lens flare, which is gonna give our, our ghost a heart or soul, as I like to think of it. With the lights on, I'll run you through exactly how I'm gonna create one of these ghosts and then we'll turn the lights off and actually make one. Now the settings that we're gonna use for this are ISO 100, F5.6, um, shooting on bulb mode. Now, you can create these pretty quickly, so you don't need to shoot on bulb mode. If your camera doesn't allow that, you can create these shooting at just a 15 or 30 second exposure. So if your camera only does 15 or 30 seconds, you should be fine and you can create one of these light ghosts. What you're gonna do, Go down here, holding both ends of the whip, holding one end, the light in one hand, the other end of the whip in the other hand, like so. You turn the light on, then you just slowly kind of move it, bend it, and shape the, the figure as it comes up. And then when you get to the top where your head is, you kind of just fold this up, like so, and almost around your whole head. If I bend it up like this and put it all the way over my face, I can actually get my face kind of in the image a little bit. So it'll, if I leave it here, my face will eventually burn into the image and I, you can see a face in the hooded veil. If you don't want your face in it, you can either just bring it up and turn the light off or you bring it up and just kind of have it out more rather than right up against your face. So I'll go ahead and turn off the lights and make one and show you what it looks like. All right, so the first thing that I'm doing is just coming in with the light whip, slow and steady movement. Starting at the ground, turn the light on, bring the light whip up, just moving it and creating it, kind of bending it, just moving it around, and then I'm bringing it up right over my face and doing that kind of hooded figure. Now I'm taking the, the hood and color filter, shining it directly at the camera, turning it on for just two seconds. One, two, turning it off, and that is the end of this exposure. So there you go, you got this like ghostly looking figure and you can kind of see my face in there. You can totally see my face in there. So that's how you create a ghost using the uh, Light Whip from Light Painting Brushes. Again, slow, steady movements. The settings that we used were ISO 100, F5.6, shooting on bulb mode because it was a nice dark environment. We were able to control the ambient light in here so I didn't have to worry about the image blowing out. If you're outside, you're in a lot of ambient light, like street lights or something like that, you can use a 15, 30 second exposure to shorten your shutter time to to allow for the ambient light to expose properly. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your support. Um, I'm working really hard to build up the YouTube channel, so if you like what you're seeing, please like, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions, please put them down in the comment section. I will try to answer everything that I can, and that's it. I'll see you guys on the next video. Thank you so much for watching. All right, so this is super weird. Um, right after I finished filming the ghost tutorial, I'm telling you, my little mannequin over here, it's like it moved on its own. So I'm going to set up this camera and just leave it for a minute and see if, if it does it again. It's so freaking weird.